Hello guys, today we're going to talk about a little pet peeve of mine. I've been building quads for a long time, for about five years, so I kind of know what I'm doing. And there's certain things that bug me. First of all, if you build quads, you need to know how to solder. So just going and using plugs because it's easier is not necessarily the best thing. So yes, the pet peeve is plugs. Let's take a look here. This uh, right here is a millivolt OSD by Flight One. I really like the Flight One product, it is great. However, they use plugs a lot. This board has three plugs on top and a few on the bottom. And it's very common, that's the direction they go with. Um, if you look at a typical ESC, it usually doesn't have pads, it has a plug in the front that goes to your flight controller. And then flight controllers such as this Brain FPV Radix has a plug right there. Let's break this down in a couple of steps first. These kind of plugs are called JSTSH, as you can see there, SH. It's the most common plug for components. And it comes with all kinds of different pins everywhere from two to like eight or 10 or whatever. But all the numbers in between. This is JSTSH. The plug that goes into the cameras is not. The plug that goes into the camera is this guy right here, which is a Pico blade made by Molex. It is a little stubbier and each of the pins inside of there is a little bit shorter, right? And then you have this kind of plug, which is what the TBS Unified Pro tends to use, which is a JST GH. Now, as you can see, it is a bit of a problem when you have all these kinds of plugs. By far, the most popular for components is a JST SH, which is what the flight controllers use, and it's what the uh, ESCs use. I personally prefer to solder. It takes, supposedly it takes a little bit longer, but it really doesn't. It just requires a little bit more work and cleaning. When you have an ecosystem together, for example, Flight One, and you buy a Flight One ESC with a Flight One flight, control, flight controller, the plugs come already pre-pinned pre correctly. So all you gotta do is plug and play. That is pretty cool. I get it, it's fast, but in this case, if you look here, I couldn't run, take a look here. I couldn't run a, F a Flight One ESC because it doesn't fit in this particular build. So I have to use a Helination Talon Gigawatt and over here I have an Acon ESC. So guess what? They're not from the same ecosystem so the ping out is not the same. What that means is that I have to take a harness and repin it to work between the two. If I had pads, I would not have to deal with that. Now, I'm okay with plugs in a certain extent, but I really prefer when you have a plug on one end and pads on the other. The Radix is a good example. You can go plug to the plug in the ESC or from the plug to the plug in the PDB for it, in which case you need something like this that is pinned correctly. But the nice thing about the Radix is that see, it has all these pads there where you can just plug one side. I mean, plug one side and solder the other side. The nice thing about this arrangement is that you can cut the wire to lengths and be able to not have excess wire and still be able to solder. Now, the reason being when you have a long wire from, uh, let's say you have this harness right here and see how long it is, and you want it shorter, and you don't have pads on both sides, crimping these connectors is super, super hard. I just hate it, you know? The connector is super tiny, you can barely see it there. This is a JSTSH, and I have the crimpers, I have plugs, I have extra connectors, and just to do one, I tend to damage about five, because they are so tiny. They're not easy to do like several plugs. Several plugs, I can get each one perfect every single time. But when it comes to these tiny, tiny plugs, I don't even bother anymore, it's just such a pain. So what you need to do, 
because plugs are here to stay. We're going to have to deal with them unless you purposely buy equipment that does not use plugs, which there's some out there. What you should do is you should buy kits like these where you have wires that come already pre um, crimped on both sides and it comes with little packets of plugs like that so you can get the right pin out. The two main companies that I know that sell these are ReadyMade RC. They have for GH, they have for SH, and they have for Pico Blade, and they also have from SH to Pico Blade. Because guess what? When you're wiring up a camera, for example, in this case, the plug for the camera on the flight controller is a JSTSH that goes into a Pico Blade. So it's even that specialized. If you take a cable like this guy, which the uh, the flight one flight controllers come with, it's JSTSH into JSTGH. Okay. So as you can see, there's all kinds of combinations. So um, ReadyMade RC sells a kit that is JSTSH to JST no to Pickle Blade. That's what you're gonna need for the camera. So you're gonna have to buy all these kits so you have the cables available just in case you ever have to repin something. I'll put links in the description to both of these companies and the actual products. They're not affiliate links in this case like I normally do. I, they're there so if you need them, you can easily find them. In a case like me here where I had to repin some wires so that this will fit. Again, I said it's a pet peeve because the harness is down here and I spent an hour repinning this thing and I'll explain why it seems simple but soldering it would have been a lot lot faster um, let's take this guy for example let's say that I need to repin this because the pin out order is not correct let's say my components when I check the pin out let's go here and take a look right so here's a pin out for the millivolt OSD and it will be similar for ESCs and everything else. You have to look at these wires carefully at this at the wire order so you get it correct. So let's just say that we have to move these wires around because the uh, pinout is not the same as what we need. You have to take a knife just like this and sort of lift the tab on the plug so you can pull out the actual connector inside. And then you kind of pull it out right now that was easy it's not always that easy sometimes it gets stuck sometimes it doesn't want to come out sometimes you break the wire it's a pain the other thing you got to do is once you do that you got to push that tab down again so that it's not lifted so that when you insert the correct wire into it and you're going to do it like this it doesn't it actually stays now most of the time when you push it in by hand the cable bends and then you can't get it in so you need something like uh, the old nose pliers to push them in. So, and then you get a little tug to make sure that it's not coming out. And that is how you repin it. Now, oftentimes you have to take a big one like this and then start pulling them all one by one so you can rearrange them. The other situation is that when this plug goes into the socket, it actually goes in like that. But when you work on it, you have to work with the tab. So you have to have the tabs facing towards you. So that means you're working upside down. So you have to be very, very careful that when I look at the pin out here, but I'm working on it, it's gonna be opposite to what I have there. And just this morning, I screwed this up. But luckily, I realized what I had done and I fixed it. But back in December, I actually burnt this guy because I got the pin out wrong. And I hadn't realized it because I was working upside down on it and didn't realize until I plugged it in. Um, this, see, but this is a good example. Here's a plug one side, pads on the other. I like this. I like this because it can see shorter to the length I needed. Okay, um, so let's recap here. Unless you're going to completely avoid plugs, which you probably won't be able to, something you're going to buy is going to have plugs. I really recommend you buy some of these kits, have them lying around. Because that way, when the day comes, when you're building a quad and you um, need a wire to make, you, you have it. And you don't have to wait until they arrive in stock and then order it and whatnot. 
Make sure to have especially JSTSH to JSTSH. You're gonna need that. JSTSH to Pico Blade for the cameras. And the JSTGH is not that widely used. It's mostly just for a few VTXs, so you probably don't need that one. Make sure to save whatever you get from different things you buy because you might uh, you might we might need them in the future. So I try to save all this stuff. Uh, sometimes they make me really furious because I would prefer to solder, but I know some people definitely like plugs and in certain situations, it's pretty good for quick changing of components. I think I covered everything. If I didn't, let me know in the comments. I try to answer all the questions that I get there. So please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications on my videos. And again, comment and ask me questions just in case some, there's something that I missed. Thanks.